Now let us apply the theorems and corollary of similar triangles in solving problems like this. So in this problem, it says, given that the triangles are similar, solve for x. So in this, uh, in this given, now we need to identify the corresponding parts based on the given, All right? So uh, we know that 11x minus four corresponds to 50, okay? And 70 corresponds to 60. Now we can check that using the shape of the triangle, all right? Or much better if the uh, similarity statements already given for us to easily identify the corresponding parts. But in this problem, uh, we could say that SR corresponds to DC and ST corresponds to uh, 60, okay? So let's assume that these are the corresponding parts. Okay, so here, how do we solve this? Okay, let's change the color. Let's use white. So we have uh, 11 over, sorry, 11 X minus four. Oh, since these two triangles are similar, therefore the corresponding sides are uh, proportional. So that's 11 over X, sorry, 11 X minus four divided by 50 is equal to 70 over 60, okay? So in this case, uh, we can simplify this. We can cancel this out. So this becomes seven over six, seven over six, all right? And I can simplify 50 and six. This becomes, by two, this becomes three, this becomes 25. And there are no other uh, factors that we can simplify here or cancel out. So we cannot do cross multiplication. So this is 33x minus 12 is equal to 25 times 7. 25 times 7. Okay, here we go. So let's simplify again. Solve for x. 33x is equal to uh, 25 times 7. That's 35, 14, 175 plus 12. So 33x is equal to 187, correct? 187, yeah, correct. And divide by 33, both sides. So x is equal to what? Mm -hmm. How do we simplify this? This is 16, 187 over 33. 5, 15, oh, it's not. By 11, um, oh, we can simplify this by 11, yeah. So this becomes what, 11, 77, one and seven, and this is three, so 17 over three, okay? So therefore, our four, this is what, uh, five, five and uh, two thirds. Okay, or we can also accept 17 over three. So this is our final answer. The value of X is 17 over three, okay? So that's how we solve uh, this kind of problems, okay? With the use of similar uh, triangles. Next, now let's have number 18. So here, uh, if we're going to, okay, let me just change the color. If we're going to analyze or observe the given figure, Okay, and hmm, the longest side here is AC and here is DF, so therefore these are the corresponding sides, all right? The shorter is 21, the shorter side, the longer. So the shorter side is this, so 77 corresponds to 21. And of course, the, the third side corresponds to this, okay? So we have already identified the corresponding parts. Since the triangles are similar, therefore uh, their corresponding sides are proportional. So let's have 11x plus 11 over their, its corresponding part, which is 30, is equal to 77 over 21. Okay, here we go. So here, hmm, okay, let's check the correspondence. 
Okay, here we go. That's correct. So let's change the color. So as you can easily see it, let's turn it to white. Okay, so here, let's make it simpler. Now, some of you might be doing, uh, some of you might be doing cross multiplication right away. But for me, it's better to do uh, cancellation first before doing cross multiplication because it gives or it makes your number uh, bigger, okay? And bigger numbers are quite hard to, uh, to deal with, okay? So I can simplify this in this manner. So this becomes 11 times x plus 1. You can factor out 11, right? Because 11 is the common factor. Okay, and here is 30 equals 11 times 7 over 3 times 7, something like that. Oh, here we go. So I can cancel out 11 here on the same side, and I can cancel out 7 here on the same side. And 3 here, be oh, sorry, this becomes 10, correct, and this becomes 1, 1. So I have x plus 1 over 10 is equal to 1. Correct. So let's simplify. This becomes x plus 1 is equal to 10 and x is equal to 9. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 9. Okay. Now let's see, uh, let's uh, solve it without using the elimination or cancellation method. So let's try that here in our next step. So let's copy, uh, sorry, 11x plus 11 over 30 is equal to 77 over uh, what's that? That's 21. Okay, 21. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, let's do cross multiplication. Oops. So 21. Oops. 11x plus 11 is equal to 77 times 30. All right, so we are dealing with very large numbers here. And uh, for us to do this, we better do a simplification, right? So 21, okay, I can divide this by 21. I don't want to multiply this because it will make the numbers bigger, okay? So pencil, this becomes 11x plus 11. Uh, by the way, you can do any, any method here as long as you'll get the correct answer, all right? So I can simplify this uh, by 7. This becomes 11. This becomes 3. Oops. Three, and this is 10. Okay, here we go. So this is 11 times 10. And I don't want to multiply that again because it will make the numbers bigger. And I can see that we can factor out 11 on the left side of the equation. So 11 over 10. And we can divide both sides by, sorry, 11 by 11. Okay, so cancel and cancel. So this becomes x plus 1 is equal to 10. Here we go. So we get the same. Okay, so that's 9. Here we go. So we got the same value, but we dealt with uh, very large numbers. Okay, actually, if you multiply this, the numbers will be bigger. Okay, and we don't know that you might be getting some errors in multiplying and dividing. Instead of doing this, you're just dealing with numbers less than, what, 77, right here. That's the maximum. Okay, so they, we got the same value of x, which is equal to 9. So in number 18, the answer is 9. Here we go. And for our next uh, item, okay, you can uh, solve this. You can pause the video. It's called number 19. And let's check if we will get the same answer. Okay, so again, the given triangles are similar. Now, let's say, oh, these two triangles, therefore, they are similar, all right? So since they are similar, okay, let me change the color of my pen. So green. Uh, since they are similar, okay, this could be uh, proven by AAA, okay, SAS, since we have a, an included angle. And we can say that this is these two lines are parallel, all right? But anyway, it doesn't really help in solving, but it's just an additional information. Okay, so we have we have three sides given this, 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 the whole, and the, the third side. So 
uh, we can use uh, the SSS to prove that these two triangles are congruent, right? Okay, and let's, here we go. So let's identify the corresponding parts. So I know that these two sides are corresponding sides, this one. So let's start with the shorter, 36 over 96. Uh, is equal, y equal, because these two triangles are already similar, right? Their corresponding sides are already equal or proportional. And 27 over the whole, which is 72. Why the whole? Because we're talking about smaller triangle over the larger triangle. And the smaller triangle, negative 4 plus 4x over the whole part, which is 64. Okay, so here, we already identified the ratios. Okay, the proportional parts. And let's solve, let's identify uh, the value of x. So we can simplify this by dividing this by what? By six, correct? So six, oops, by six, and this one is by six, that's one, 36, 16. And we can still simplify 16, that's 3 and 8, so 3, 8. 3, 8, correct? And let's see. And this one is by 9, so 3 and 8. Here we go, so 3, 8 over 3, 8 equals, oh, we can factor out this by 4, 4, x minus 1, okay? I just, uh, change the position of x and negative one. Okay, so this is 64. And I can simplify this, this becomes 16, this is equal to one. And since they are congruent or equal, then we can use, uh, we can use this proportion or the, yeah, this proportion. Okay, or equation. So we have uh, three eight equals x minus one over 16. Oh, here we go. We have 8 and 16. I can simplify this by 8. So this is 1. This is 2. All right. And let's continue. So we have 3 over 1 is equal to x minus 1 over 2. Okay. I just copied the one that we have in the last step here. Okay. So let's simplify. This becomes 6 x minus one, all right, and x is equal to seven. So x is equal to seven. And how do we check if our answer is correct? Now we need to check, or to check, we need to show that this ratio is equal to three over eight when x is equal to seven. So uh, let's verify that, okay? So that's negative four plus four x, over 64, and we know that x is equal to seven, so let's substitute so negative four plus 28 over 64. So 24 over 64, so by eight, right? So this becomes three, this becomes eight, so that's three, eight. And let's see if uh, the, the fraction or the ratio is equal to three eighths. Oh, here we go. So the ratios are equal. Therefore, our value, for, sorry, the value of x is equal to 7. So this is our final answer. All right. Okay, I hope we got the same answer here. Okay, let's identify, I mean, solve uh, number 20. Again, the given triangles are similar and we need to solve for x. So here, using the shape of the triangle, uh, okay, here we go. Since there are no, uh, I mean, there's no given similarity statement, then we could use the uh, the shape of the triangle as a basis. But then again, that's not a very good basis because some drawings or illustrations are or were not drawn to scale. So uh, much better if the given has a, uh, as a similarity statement provided, all right? But in this case, since there's none, and it was already assumed that the triangles are similar, then let's use of the shape and the sides. So here, um, 
UW is the longest side and TU is the longest side. Therefore, these two are corresponding parts, right? And this is the shorter side than this, shorter than this. So 5x11 corresponds to 18 and 24 corresponds to 88. Okay, so we have, uh, let's write it down. So 5x plus 11 over 18 is equal to 88 over 24. Again, how did I know that they're equal or the ratios are equal? It's because they are similar. It was already given that they are similar. Therefore, the ratios, the corresponding parts, okay, are proportional, all right? So let's simplify and let's use white, okay? And I can simplify this by what by eight so this is 11 this is three and i can simplify this by three so this is one this is six here we go so i have 5x plus 11 over sorry six is equal to 11 over one and then cross multiply 5x plus 11 is equal to 66 5x is equal to 66 minus 11 Okay, let's continue solving. So 5x is equal to 55 and divide both this by five, that's 11. So x is equal to 11, okay? And uh, let's check if our answer is correct. Make sure we need to check that the ratio here is equal to 11 over three. If it's not equal to 11 over three, then there's something wrong with our value of x, okay? So let's try that here. Let's use different color for us to differentiate our checking from the given solution. So we have 5x plus 11, oops, there we go, over 18. Our x is equal to 11, so that's 55 plus 11 over 18. So this is 66 over 18. We can simplify this by six, 11 over three. So here we go, so 11 over three, 11 over three. So therefore our answer is correct, which is 11, okay? And let's uh, move on to the next. Oh, there are no more problems left. All right, so, so our video is already done and I hope you learned something today and keep on studying.